guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given six terms and we're told to factor completely. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First step, let's factor out the greatest common factor. Each of these terms has an x squared we can factor out. So let's factor out an x squared. And then each of the coefficients also has a two that can be factored out. For the first term, when we factor out the two and an x squared, we're left with x to the fourth. For the second term, we're gonna subtract. Eight divided by two is four, and x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared. And then we're gonna add 12 divided by two is six, and x to the fifth divided by x squared is x cubed. And then we're gonna subtract 48 divided by two is 24, and x cubed divided by x squared is x. And then we're gonna add 16 divided by two is eight, and x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared. And then for the last one, 64 divided by two is 32, and x squared divided by x squared is one. I don't see anything else that matches, so our first step is a success. We factored out the greatest common factor. Now for the next step, first let's copy down the greatest common factor. We have to remember to bring this down with us every step. And then for the stuff inside here, let's do factor by grouping with three separate groups. We have this group in red, this group in blue, and this group in green. There might be a better way to do it. You might be better off grouping these and these, but I can see right now this way will work, so let's do this. For the first two, the greatest common factor is x squared. And on the inside, we're left with x squared minus four. And then for the next two, we can factor out a six x and we'll still have x squared minus four. And then for these two, we can factor out an eight and that'll also leave us with x squared minus four. So this method definitely worked. Next, let's copy down the two x squared and each of these terms contains an x squared minus four. So let's factor out an x squared minus four. And then after we factor this out of the first term, we're left with an x squared. After we factor this out of the second term, we're left with a six x. And after we factor it out of the third term, we're left with an eight. Now to finish, both of these are pretty standard factoring. Let's copy down the GCF. The x squared minus four is a difference of two squares. It'll be x minus two times x plus two. Here's the notes right here. And then for this trinomial, we can put the x and the x that'll give us the x squared. And then we need two numbers that add to six and multiply to eight. That'll be two and four. And now everything is fully factored, so we're pretty much done. This is a final answer, is probably fine, but I'm gonna combine the two x plus twos into an x plus two squared. And this is the answer to the question. Let's put a box around it. This is the same thing as this, but fully factored. How exciting.